Hello and welcome to a new feature, which I like to call Kate Tells You Where to Stick Your Obnoxious Opinion. And today's special guest is Chief Constable Sarah Thornton. She's the chair of the National Police Chiefs Council and she's featured in the BBC article today with the title Focus on Violent Crime, Not Misogyny, says Police Chief, even at the very, very fundamental level, missing the point that misogyny is very often expressed in the form of violent crime. You know, women being murdered every week, domestic violence, uh, harassment, stalking, sexual assault, rape. I think we could file all of these things in that massively overlapping Venn diagram of hatred towards women and violent crime. Anyway, uh, she says, treating misogyny as a hate crime is a concern for some well-organised campaigning organisations. It's, I think it's sort of a concern for women and if the Me Too movement has sort of taught us anything, it's that it's a concern for basically all women, which would be 52% of the population. And, you know, if Brexit has taught us anything, it's that when 52% of the population are pissed off about something, we should immediately act, even if it brings bringing the rest of the country to its knees. And frankly, in this case, I think we should. She says, we do not have the resources to do everything. Now, firstly, as the chair of the National Police Chiefs Council. She should be turning to the government and saying, if you know, we need more resources, we need more support, we need specialist training, we need specialist units, we need help here. Because it's not really good enough, is it, for the police to go, hmm, we don't, can't do everything. Well, what next? There's been two murders on your street this week. Hmm, we only have the resources to, to, to deal with one. So uh, you, do you want to choose between you? Which of those bodies looks the most lifeless? It's kind of meaningless, isn't it? And there's someone down there who's been mugged, but you know, should have picked a week when nobody was getting murdered in this street. It's like going to the hospital, like, oh, I, I think I'm having a heart attack. And they're like, yeah, well, this guy's sure. Like, we just have to help people that need helping. Um, she says, I want us to solve more burglaries and bear down on violence before we make more records of, in of incidents that are not crimes. And she says, investigating gender-based hate crime cannot be a priority for the police, right? Which suggests to me that she doesn't understand what the law on hate incidents and hate crimes is. And that's quite a big omission, considering that she is a very, very senior police officer, right? So let's have a little recap, a little teaching. There is a, a law in the UK that says that something is a hate incident if the victim thinks that it was motivated, so if the victim or anyone else thinks that it was motivated by hostility or prejudice based on these things, disability, race, religion, transgender identity or sexual orientation. And if you go to the police and repeat, report an incident that has taken place against you, such as like uh, name calling, offensive jokes, being bullied or intimidated, threats of violence, hoax phone calls, online abuse, all that kind of stuff. I mean, whatever you report to the police, they have to make a note of it. Even if you go round and go, oh, there's a bee in my room. They have to make a note of whatever you say, because if you report things to the police. But then if it's an incident that seems to be motivated by hatred or prejudice towards one of those protected characteristics, they tick a special box that says it's a hate incident and it's recorded as such. Now, there's also a situation in which you're a victim of a crime, a crime such as assault, harassment, murder, sexual assault, fraud, burglary, hate mail, all that kind of stuff, criminal damage, and you believe that you've been targeted because you're a member of one of those groups. Now, if you're a victim of any of those crimes, the police should just investigate and prosecute anyway. But then when it comes to sentencing, if you're a member of one of those groups and you believe that the crime was motivated by that, then there's a, an allowance which says that they can give you a longer sentence. Basically, your sentencing can be increased. So what they're really saying is if somebody's going out there just trying to pick fights in the street, well, that's a crime and they should be prosecuted for it. If somebody's out there trying to pick fights in the street and they're targeting black people or gay people, etc., etc., then they can be given a longer sentence because there's obviously like a hatred motivating that crime. We want to live in a society where those groups of people aren't specifically targeted. So what campaigners are saying is that they want to add sex to that list to say that if you've been targeted because you're a woman, um, firstly, your incident can be ticked as such and, re and recorded as such. So we know the scale of this kind of stuff going on for the record, industrial scale. It's huge. We all know this. And secondly, then when a crime is prosecuted, which incidentally, if you're a woman and you've experienced a hate crime, it's 
probably not going to be anyway. So what are we also worried about? Potentially, perpetrators could be given a slightly longer sentence to reflect that the crime is driven by hatred towards women. Instead of this, though, Sarah Thornton says she wants to refocus on core policing, which feels a little bit like making America great again, doesn't it? Let's, let's get back to what the police were about originally, like, I don't know, picking up youngsters who looked a bit rough around the edges and beating them up with truncheons behind a bike shed or racially profiling people in the street or, I don't know, taking their hats off so pregnant ladies can piss in them. To be honest with you, based on my own experience of actual crime that has clearly been motivated by misogyny and hatred towards women and the way that the police do absolutely nothing about it when you go and report it apart from waste your time and basically harass you themselves. The next time I experience, I'm going to experience it, I am going to stuff a cushion up my jumper and march straight down the local police station and at least get my buzz for the day by saying, officer, hand me your hat. <laughs>